Hello history fans, today we are visiting Duffus Castle. Duffus Castle was the medieval stronghold of the Moray family. It is one of the finest examples of a modern bailey castle in Scotland. The castle is situated four miles north of Elgin, on a fertile plain called the Luck of Moray. At the time the castle was first built, it was on the swampy foreshore of a spiny lock, which has since been drained. The whole site is enclosed by a water-filled ditch. The first castle was built in timber by a Flemish man called Freskin in around 1140. After an uprising of the men of Moray against King David I in 1130, the king sent Freskin north as his representative. He was given the estate of Duffus. Reskin's son William adopted the title of de Moravia or of Moray. By 1200, the family had become the most influential noble family in northern Scotland. In about 1270, the castle passed to Sir Reginald Chain the Elder, Lord of Inverugie. It is likely he built the square stone keep on top of the Mott and the curtain wall which encircles the bailey. This work likely took place in 1305 when the invading King Edward I of England gave him 200 oak trees from the royal forests, which were probably used for the castle's floors and roofs. The stone keep was a two-storey rectangular tower and was the main residence. The first floor held the Lord's Hall, with a latrine and bedchambers. The ground floor was the main storage space and also accommodated the Lord's household. The tower was built as a defensive structure with a small number of narrow windows. There was only one entrance on the ground floor, which also housed the portcullis. On the second floor, two doors exited onto the walkway of the curtain wall. By 1350, the castle had passed to a younger son of the Earl of Sutherland through marriage. It may have been then that the keep was abandoned, possibly because it was beginning to slip down the mound and a new residence was established to the north of the bailey. These new buildings housed a kitchen, a great hall with a reception room and the great chamber bedroom. Viscount Dundee, leader of the first Jacobite Rising, dined in the castle as a guest of James Lord Duffus in 1689, prior to his victory against King William II's government forces at Killiecrankie. Soon after, Lord Duffus moved to the nearby Duffus house. The castle quickly fell into decay. I really hope you enjoyed this little exploration of Duffus Castle. If you did, then please hit the like button and consider subscribing and clicking the bell icon to be notified next time I upload a video. Thanks very much, bye.